Hi everybody, this is Susie, and welcome to another Wild Orchid Crafts video on behalf of the Wild Bunch. I am so excited to bring this project to you today. I just love altering boxes, and I'm sure you guys know who have been following my channel um, that I do a lot of alterations, and this is actually a gift for a friend. Um, I am seeing her and uh, today, and um, I, I can't wait to give this box to her. I just know that she's going to love it. She loves everything that I make. Um, and I'm going to share with you what I've done today and how I've used the Wild Orchid Craft Beautiful Flowers. So as you can see here, I have a small wooden box, which you can purchase these at Michael's Craft Store, completely raw, for about $1.50. And um, what I've done here is the box comes in a raw colored um, wood, and I painted it with a color called Vanilla. It's an acrylic paint by Craft Smart. Um, I made two coats of paint completely on the inside and outside, and as you can see, that vanilla is actually like an off-white. It's not a cream. It's actually an off-white. And on the outside, I used some vintage bridal lace that I cut up and adhered with uh, little pieces of hot glue all the way around, like dabs of glue, so that it doesn't come through and make the lace look hard. And I did that on um, all of the sides in the back. I made a bow and put that bow there uh, with using the Wild Orchid Crafts um, vintage seam binding. Very dainty looking. And again, if you can see, I don't want to get too close. But you can see that the lace is there. Looks very pretty. It's very faint because it's white on white. And that's what makes it look so shabby. I just love the way that it came out. And um, usually you have these little gold um, closures that are there. Like a kind of like a hook and eye, if you would. And I removed that. And you can even see that there's a little hole there that came out. And I was going to put it back because it like actually locks the box a little bit, but I, I didn't want to. It wasn't really dressy looking, and I wanted to change the look up. So I cut, uh, I cut the uh, little eye off of the back of the button, and I glued a button on there, so that kind of looks like a closure. It doesn't keep it closed, but it kind of blocks that seal from the um, opening it a little bit, and it looks really pretty. And down here I have some of the Wild Orchid Crafts uh, small roses, uh, really very pretty, and a fuchsia pink, and a pale pink, and a couple of um, stray uh, pearls from my stash, and like a three millimeter. And I'm just going to turn this box here so that you can uh, check out the top, and I, I can explain to you what I've done here. I used the beautiful uh, large, large wild orchid crafts uh, mixed pink roses. Uh, the item number for that is PM00121, and those are the ones uh, that come in the two-tone. In that package, you actually get, and I'm going to show it to you because I, I have it right here. Oops, I don't want to back up too much, though, because I'm not using a very pretty background. But, um, yeah, you get, you get a package like that, which has a pale pink, and then a two-tone fuchsia, and a two-tone dark pink and a uh, baby pink and then a solid white. So I chose to use the two-tone on this one. I kind of like the bright fuchsia in the center with the uh, white flowers around it in the background. And then um, adding some of the, uh, the very beautiful uh, wild roses in one a quarter inch, which are the smaller ones around the outside, and sometimes I take the leaves off and sometimes I don't, and on this one, on two of them I took the leaves off and on two of them I left the leaves on, just because there was a lot of white going on and I needed the leaf just to break it up in between so that you can see the flowers separated. And um, in between, um, if you can see it here, I have the very small roses and uh, in the light pink that I had on the bottom of the box on the outside, and the other... Uh, fuchsia rose. I just absolutely love those and I, I need to get some more of those and I don't even think I have any more left. And um, in between all of those little roses and the large roses and the um, and the very big roses which are one and a quarter in size um, I put some stray pearls again and some uh, random rhinestones which you could see all in between all the way around. 
And I also used some gold buttons uh, that are solid gold and the corners are here and here and on the other opposite corners I use gold buttons that um, actually match the closure. So this button is here and on the other side in the back and it just really gives it a very shabby almost a uh, Victorian feel which I love because of the gold. I mean that's my opinion. I, you know you guys might not agree with me but um, I, I like putting the gold into the project. It kind of gives it that almost, <laughs> here I go with the Marie Antoinette feel, but um, kind of gives it that era of a feel, and I just I just love it. And um, that's basically it. This was a really fun project to make. Um, I enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. I love alterating things. I love altering boxes and pins and glass. And basically everything that I make, I alter unless I'm actually making it from complete scratch. So, um, yeah, this was really very simple. So if you want to go on over to Michael's, you can get yourself a box and paint it up with some of this Craft Smart paint. Looks like that with a red label. And um, and go on over to wildorchocrafts.com and check out all the beautiful flowers. If you don't see the flowers that are posted in the drop-down box below, that means that they are very popular. And they um, are out for that moment, but they will be fully stocked and back in. So um, you can go on over and check it out. And there's a lot of sales going on now at the site, so you can really, really uh, stack up. Um, just beautiful, www.wildorchocrafts.com, um, and I hope that you can subscribe and stay tuned for more videos coming, and uh, thank you so much for subscribing and watching my videos, I really appreciate it in advance, so thank you for, so much for watching, and I'll see you again, have a great weekend, bye!